So the thing about the spread of a virus is that, you know, even if just one person gets the virus, but then they infect other people, and they infect other people, and so on, and there's something called the basic reproduction number, R0, which is believed to be right now about uh, 2.2 for the novel, uh, novel coronavirus, but even if it was, let's say, 2, this just sort of illustrates how the infections can happen, because even if one person started with the disease, but if they infected two other people, now you're up to two people with the disease. And if they each affect two other people, now you're up to four other people. And they each affect two people, now you're up to eight other people. So you get this kind of exponential growth where each new generation of the disease, you're multiplying by some reproduction number. And that's why diseases have the potential to spread really quickly. Whereas if you were able through you know, hand washing and isolation and quarantine and all the things you could do, get that reproduction number down to something less than one, like if it was say a half, then it would mean, even if you started with some people with the disease, well, if only on average the half of them are infecting somebody else, then it starts to die out, like four people, two people, one people, zero people. So it means this reproduction number, if it's more than one, it keeps on getting bigger and bigger, but if it's less than one, it gets smaller and smaller and dies out. So that's what the whole battle's about. So the same thing's as simple as if everybody washes their hands more, if people don't touch their face, they're, you know, they seem like simple things, but if they make it a little bit less likely that you're gonna get infecting the next person, that could cut this reproduction number down that little bit, and every little bit could make a big difference in the long run for how the virus spreads. Once it's out in a country, let's say, it's not just contained to a few people who are in isolation or anything, but it's kind of out and spreading, and the reproduction number is you know, more than one, maybe like two or 2.2 .2 or whatever, then it has the potential to spread really quickly and you can think if you know maybe there's 90,000 people who have it right now, well, if they on average each infect another 2.2 .2 people, you're up to about 200,000 people next time. And then if they infect more people, you're up to like 400,000 and it just keeps growing and growing. So if you can keep it contained, it's just a small number of people and you're keeping track of who they've interacted with and so on, you might be able to contain it. But as the numbers go up, as they're starting to, it gets less and less likely that you'll be able to contain it. And once there's enough people who have it, then you can't track everybody and figure out who talked to who and who might have given the disease to who. And then it sort of gets out in the population. And then as long as that reproductive number stays high, it's going to just spread and it's really hard to control at that point. So far, they're estimating that the mortality rate is about 2%. So it means about one person in 50 who gets the novel coronavirus is actually going to die from it, which is quite high. I mean, compared to, say, the common flu, which actually kills uh, thousands of people in Canada every year, it's still only about one-tenth of one percent, or one in a thousand of people who get the ordinary flu who are going to die from it. But if it's about one in 50 for a novel coronavirus, it doesn't mean everybody who gets it's going to die by any means, but that's a fairly high fraction, so it means it's going to, it's going to cause a lot of destruction. I mean, the whole story is this reproduction number, on average, how many people does each new case infect? If that's less than one, then no problem. It's going to die out nice and quickly, and it won't be too bad. But it seems like it's a fair bit more than one. It's actually probably over two. And that's enough to just get this quick uh, spreading. And um, you know, we can try to wash our hands and not touch our face and not shake people's hands and not try to uh, you know, avoid interacting with people. But it's a tricky situation. And uh, it does seem right now like it's spreading faster than that.